I've been told that some pens perform better with some inks than others. Perhaps. But I've also been told that quality pens will work with any ink, which is the case in your experience. Yes, so um, there's definitely the case that finely tuned pens, and I mean like properly tuned pens, which could be in any price range. You can certainly buy expensive pens, pens that are not tuned properly. So it's not just a matter of price, but properly tuned pens, which is what you're kind of referring to here as quality, um, will perform generally well with any ink. That is, that is true. If you have a pen that's maybe not tuned perfectly, you have a wetter, more lubricated ink, or just the ink likes the pen better, it can make up for some of those things. You know, I'm thinking particularly a pen that writes really dry, if you use a lubricated ink in there, it can help to write, make it write better. So you can sort of accommodate for improper tuning with ink. It doesn't even have to be improper tuning, it could just be tuning that's not as much to your liking. Like maybe some nibs are tuned you know, uh, a little tighter because they're springier. And most people when they're writing with a heavier hand would spring them out and have that flow coming through. Whereas if you have a really light touch or you hold your pen at a really high angle, maybe it's just not as ideally tuned for your handwriting. There's definitely an element of person personality here. Um, but that said, um, I think that, uh, that the most important thing here is that the ink and the way that it performs in your pen can vary in a pen of any price range or quality range. Um, I don't think that you need to necessarily try to fix or adjust for or tune your writing experience quite as much with a properly tuned pen because it will generally write okay. You know, if it's not going to skip and it's not going to um, have starting issues and stuff like that, there's not as much of a need to try to find a particular, you know, type of ink to accommodate for that like you would on a pen that is more prone to do those types of things. Um, but you certainly can get inks that have varying properties in the pen because depending on the nib size, depending on how the, the design of the feed and how wet it writes and all that, your ink can certainly shade more. It can look darker or lighter. It can dry in different time frames. It can have different amounts of sheen or shimmer to them. Um, all of these things can be impacted based on the pen that they're in. So you can have one pen, even if it writes really well, that you might like to write with a different type of ink just because it flows better or it dries faster, you know? So there's, there's all kinds of ways you can still kind of fine tune your experience even though you're not trying to fix a quality issue on the pen. Does that make sense? So um, a lot of it's gonna boil down to personal preference and what it is that you're trying to do with that pen. It's really just amazing to me how, even just between my wife and I, we can literally, we'll both take the same pen, ink, and paper, exact same setup. And she holds her pen at a higher angle. She has a four finger grip, which I just don't understand how that works, even after all these years. And she'll write with it, and she does not use a lot of pressure. She writes at a very steep angle, and she writes pretty quickly. So she doesn't put down as much ink. I write a little slower, I have a heavier hand, and I drop that pen angle down really low. I just have a very low angle, because I have very long fingers. So, you know, it just doesn't, you know, when I'm writing with my pen, it's not unusual for me to have, you know, my pen angle, you know, about here. You know, 45, somewhere, somewhere right about there, 40 to 45. When she writes, she writes more like this. Like it's much steeper, and I'm trying to write with four fingers, and I, I can't even, I just can't even. <laughs> she does something like this. And that pen, because the way she holds it, that pen is like way up there. So it looks completely different. The line width is different. The amount of shading is different. It's more with mine. You know, the, the hue, the saturation is different with the exact same setup. It's unbelievable how different it is just because of the person that's writing it. So that's part of the beauty and the curse with all this stuff is I could get a scientific all day long to tell you exactly how it should be based on the different components it has, but it's part science and part art. And the art is how you are writing with it. So even if you have one pen and a variety of inks and all these things and you're trying, you're gonna have a unique experience based on you with all this. So. A lot of it's gonna come down to personal preference, um, but the short answer is, even if you're getting a quality pen, you can still tweak that experience with a lot of different things.